works her shuttle. So we have done the last uh, golden cockerel. Heel, demonstrating, out, turn, turn, shuttle right. Sit back, slightly out, shift, out, turn or spin, turn the hips and waist, shuttle left. Half step to the back, across the hips and waist, set up the top hand, down to the bottom of the seat. One hand, two hands, then your foot, start in the middle, heel out, flash arms like a fan. Okay, and then maybe we'll get to this point. It seems logical because it flows nicely into it, okay? So coming forward, okay? So the transition to get into Maiden Works or Shuttle is the last golden cockerel after we have done our serpent in the grass. So we are facing towards the uh, angling rather than straight on this way, okay? Then you're gonna come down. So here we are, okay? Coming down on a heel, not weighted, shifting our weight, holding our ball. Just try it. Out with the heel, turn, spin, turn the hips and waist, shuttles out. Sit back, slightly out, ball for better balance, heel, rotate that ball, turn the hips and waist, shuttles left. Half step to the back, across the hips and waist, set up the top hand, extend the, heel, the knee of the left foot all together down oblique across the hips and waist. One hand, two hands, then your foot, extend the knee, flesh arms like a fan. Okay, a little bit more support now. So we have, we're getting into maiden works or shuttle. We're slanted, we're a golden cockerel standing on its right. Heel comes out on an L, shift your weight with the ball, heel comes out on an L, spin the ball, as it goes towards your forehead, turn the hips and waist, finish up that top hand. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, ball for better balance, heel out on the L, spin the ball, turn your hips and waist, shuttles left. Half step to the back, across the hips and waist, right hand sets up on an oblique, follows that hand and uh, all together multitasking. One hand comes up, join it by the second hand, then the foot, start in the heel, touch, flash your arms like a fan. Okay, let's see if we can do it one more time, a little smoother, okay? Golden cockerel stands on its right. Extend the heel, hold your ball. Out with your heel, spin the ball. Before it gets to your head, turn the hips and waist. Maiden on her right. Sit back, sit down. Slightly pivot out. Hold your ball. Spin the ball. Before it gets to your forehead, turn the hips and waist. Flatten out, maiden on her left. Half step to the back. Across the hips and waist, down across the hips and waist. Extend that knee. One hand comes up, join it by the second, then the foot, extend the knee, flash arms like a fan. So in flash arms like a fan now, you don't have to be on a line, but the left foot should be on a line or parallel to the tile of the line of the tile, and the right foot is in a 45. It's exactly what we want for a bow stance. When we flash arms like a fan, we have already contacted a, about forehead or slightly above. We've kind of made a, a, a diamond or a spade right through that center piece there. And then you're gonna push forward, pull back. The hand that goes to the back is slightly higher. There is not a 
full extension, because that is not Tai Chi, that is not Yang style. It is center, flat, and finish. Okay? So you can put your hands down, but just watch. This is my good bow stance. This is my sit back. As I complete a flash arms, I flatten so that I can come this way, okay? So one of the para couple of parameters is that when you finish your bow stance, you should complete your flash arms. The backhand is slightly higher, okay? So I'm giving you different angles. So you start with the touch, you're sitting in the back, you extend forward, you extend back. You do not extend forward, forward, then extend back, but you do it in a simultaneous fashion. And you notice that the back hand is higher, but it doesn't extend me back, then I am twisted out of, but just a natural um, expanse. One last angle, two feet on two different, 45 the back, as we normally do, um, sit back, back, okay? So you're like this, and you wanna complete by firming down, finishing. So beyond that, it's setting me up. Sit back, lower, pivot, See that top hand? It's above my forehead. I come up, I come down. I spin out. I'm on my toe of my front. I want rooted down on the back. I want to come out, deflect, pull it in and parry, and then punch. Okay? So let's um, start from um, Golden Cockerel again, going all the way through, and then we'll run it on a on the regular way after we do a, a front way, okay? So we said to get into Maiden Works or Shuttle, we're favoring our, our right, right hand on the bottom, left foot up, left hand up, golden cockerel. Out on an L, shift weight, hold your ball. Out on an L, spin the ball. Before it finish your forehead, turn the hips and waist, Maiden on her right. Sit back, sit down, slightly pivot out, hold your ball, heel out on an L, spin the ball before it finishes, turn the hips and waist. Maiden on her left. Half step to the back, across the hips and waist, set up the top hand, extend the knee, come down, one hand, Two hands, then your foot, touch, extend the knee, flash arms like a fan. Okay, one more time and then we'll go sideways. Right hand down, golden cockerel. Extend the knee on an L, shift weight with a ball, out with your heel, spin the ball before it completes to the forehead, Turn the hips and waist. Sit back. Twist out. Shift weight. L. Spin the ball. Turn the hips and waist. Push out. Half step to the back. Across the hips and waist. Set up the top hand. Extend that knee. Go down together. Multitasking. One hand. Two hands. Bend your foot. Start in the middle. Extend. Flash arms. Okay, hold your flash arms. Let me look. Hold your flash arms. I'm going to turn around. Okay, relax. Go back to your spot. All right. So, um, <clears throat> we, we said that we were taking a bird's eye view of the 24 and slowly getting into refinement because there's not only 24 movements that need sequencing, but there's also within a movement, lots and lots to dig down deeper. So for the most part, if you can follow most of the keywords, we can tr really, truly 
try to refine with what you have on board. So your flash arms should look something like this, where the front hand is in the center rather than to the side or across the body, but to the center about eye level rather than here or rather than here, because that will truly shift my Tai Chi posture. So if my feet are, I, I take for granted that they, you, know, you know about your feet. So the front hand is this way. The other hand, you can start it here because it does start from the middle, but it just pulls back a little higher. Okay, it pulls back a little higher. So if you say that those are the parameters, then when you check your vision or your view of yourself, this is how it should appear. It should never appear flat this way. It should not appear beyond my, my shoulder. It should come up higher so that it can come down, drop. Okay. So I think the best is to kind of get the feel for the, the movement and then refine it. If you can get, get to this point, that's perfect. And then we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how to then position your hands. Just remember the back hand is higher, the front hand centers your body slightly lower at eye level, and this guy comes back. So I want to say it's in the area of my, my ear and not above my head, but in line with my uh, forehead, forehead, something like that. Huh? A little higher than that? For the, if you get it this way, then we can go, it's easy to go high. Okay, but when you go high, you don't pull that, that shoulder up. It's just an expanse, not a high with pulling this thing up now, okay? So let's forget about high. Let's say it's higher than the front hand and then pull back, but not pull back extensively, okay? Okay, now, so good question. So in a dance, Never th nothing is so exact because momentarily it can be um, to the T and then it's the next second or split of a second, it, you're turning, you're in motion. So to answer it really in a simply way, simple way, you're, you're, you, it's a natural open, it's a natural uh, bow stance, natural. So yes, there is some give to that back there's some natural give to the back, but not to the point where it's shifting everything over. So I want to say it's not totally front because I feel a pull in the back. I would say a natural opening. So I would say a natural opening, slightly to the right, slightly to the right. Okay, for now, yeah, okay. So I think for now, um, you do what's natural then we can fix it up. So a good reminder is that we are all on our axle. Our axle can spin. And this is a good example of not fully spinning, spinning, but slightly spinning, okay? But you are still straight up, okay? So I think that question can be applied to all kinds of uh, and movements such as this, and always then say, I think I know what the answer is. I'm on my cable, I'm on my axle, and I can give, I can be flexible. Okay? I guess it's back to talking about intention. What are you doing when you do what you're doing? From a, you know, the derivation of it. Um, the flash arm is meant to be uh, almost like repulsing the monkey. You're giving and you're taking, okay? That's one thing. So when you're coming from, from down here, coming up, this hand will ultimately, what it wants to do is do this, whether you come up and do this, or whether you come do this, the function is to protect the head and to use a grasping block. So you're coming from here, okay? Doesn't have to be too high, you just have to be 
not down here, and you don't want to be back here. You want to protect your head, and you want to do this. So it doesn't have to be a, although we say it flash arms like a fan, most fans don't go one this way a little bit and out that way, but our fans are a little asymmetric. You see, I'm not out here, I'm right about here because I want to protect this. And at the same token, by the same time, we're coming up here. Okay, so you came from this position, you turned, huh? yeah, and then you went back out again. So in answer to Mel's question is the old story. How do we move about advancement? We did a little bit of this, but we also we came from this straight on, we came back out, see? Mm -hmm. And back forward. And you don't have to turn a whole bunch because you're 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 almost a neutral position, but you you you're giving some power here, you're giving some power, some power forward. Okay. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Obviously. My wife's trying to remind me of the core. Certainly the, the power of the, it's here, lifting up. This is rather small excursion, but what is happening? Advancement. From here to here, advancement. But from, from here, I didn't come straight up and do this. I went down, turn. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry town up so I'm no longer I came from this position straight on slight curve slight rotation slight rotation advancement okay not not a full uh, it's I think a lot of moving about just got to think how much rotation versus how much advancement. And it's really a combination of, of both depending on, and how much of one versus the other depends on the movement. When we use our <clears throat> core, our hands go for the ride. So that's the point that I wanted to say. We're not so worried about, um, we, are, we do know the end point then in that it doesn't extend beyond our uh, shoulder. But if we are looking at our core, if we're looking at our core, and the core's dictating our movement, and we're shifting our weight, that's it. It just comes, it just opens, it um, unfolds pretty naturally. Then you say, okay, I know when to stop because my foot is flush to the bottom, and it's even, and I'm done. So in other words, if my foot, if my foot, the weight of the shifting of the foot of the front dictates it, I cannot come down and then this is just a hand motion. But if I come down, come up, out, heel, shift my weight, I then end. I don't know, it just happens that way, okay? So you might want to just not look at minutia and just say, my core will take me there. And if my core doesn't take me there to my satisfaction, I can tweak it a little bit. But make your core work for you. Make your mind work for you. And then reevaluate, okay? Don't start with <clears throat> the, the smaller thing, okay? Although you do keep that in the back of your mind and use it um, in an advantageous way, okay? All right, so sometimes when we instruct, it's, it's difficult because we're looking for each little itty bitty step, then we try to blend it together. But to me, if you get the bird's eye view and then you just flow with the music, more than likely, it'll come together in a better way, then we can tweak it, okay? All right, so um, we have about 10 minutes. So let's, let's show me the difference between parting of the wild horse's mane and warding off. OK? 
okay, what's the difference between, think it through, what's the difference between parting of the wild horse's mane and how you ward off? Okay, so what we're gonna do in the last few minutes is to, to show and prove to ourselves there are many similarities between those two movements, all right? When we part the wild horse's mane, we, un we open up our front hand and we extend out. In warding off, we take that L stance, we take a bow stance, we turn our hips and waist, and we finish up our movement. The similarities you can readily see is that we take an L, we take a bow, we are still in Tai Chi posture. In warding off, we are on a T, we take an L, we take a bow, we are still in Tai Chi posture. If we did not see those similarities, we would say, this is our parting of the wild horse's mane. If we did not, and we didn't clean that up, we would easily fall into ward off. Right? Then you would flare out and you would do this and you're still in that goofy Tai Chi posture. So I want to make that point by uh, doing correctly maybe two sets of, of parting of the wild horse's mane and apply that to warding off, okay? All right, on a T-stance, holding your ball. We're going to part the wild horse's mane. T-stance, L-stance, bow stance. Sit back. Sit down, twist step, center, L stance, bow stance, one set, okay? Sit back, sit down, pivot, twist step, T stance, part the wild horse's mane, second set. Knees not beyond your toes, get a good stretch, do not follow that forward hand, straight up. Sit back, sit down. Pivot, center with the ball, root down, because you need that energy. L stance, nice parting of the wild horse's mane. Now we're going to match it with warding off. Sit back, sit down, pivot, center with the ball. T stance, move that ball on the L, ward off and stop. Are you in a good Tai Chi position? Turn the hips and waist, reposition your hands. Sit down, sit back, turn at the hips and waist. Contact, turn at the hips and waist. Hands go for the right, center, push out. Flatten that front foot, roll back, sit down. Spiral forward, sit down, sit back. Twist, root down. Hold your ball, out with the L, push and fall short of going any further. Turn hips and waist, reposition your hands, sit down, turn at the hips and waist, contact, turn at the hips and waist, center, push out, flatten front foot down, separate, roll back, sit down. Spiral four, that's one set. Do another set a little better. Sit down, sit back, twist, shift your weight, root down, hold your ball, T stance, out with an L, push, stop, turn hips and waist, reposition, sit down, sit back, look back, contact, turn at the hips and waist, push that energy from the center, sit back, Sit down, spiral forward. Sit down, sit back, twist, root down, T, L, push, pause. Turn hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail. Sit back, sit down, look back, contact, push, 
separate, roll back, sit down, spiral forward. Sit down, sit back, twist. Let's finish off with brush knee, parallel higher. Let's look at our spirals now, okay? No angles. T stance, L stance, turn hips and waist, brush knee. Sit down, sit back, twist. Don't come up to the shoulder fast, slowly as you tease. Out L, turn hips and waist, nicely brush knee. Sit down, sit back, twist. Don't come up so fast, do it together. All together, turn. Sit back, sit down, pivot. Don't come up high, do not use angles. All together, turn. Sit back, sit down, pivot. Hold your ball. Okay, nice and soft, nice and peaceful. Um, rather uh, experienced movements, but there again, an example of how you can refine your movements, okay, in a logical way, in a pattern that repeats itself. One thing that you learned in one movement can surely apply to other movements, okay? So keep it, keep it light. Keep it disciplined and then enjoy. Yeah.